All right, let's see what we got here. How many of your outdoor kitchens look like this? Got a grill. Stove top, brother, not used once. Even's got the blue plastic. Highly unorganized. We use a fridge. Let's rip it up. We currently keep our black stone in the front passage. So I want to not only recoup that space, but make this not a pain in the butt to get out of every time. Here's the plan. Here is the opening that everything needs to fit in. It's 25 and a half inches wide and it's 19 inches tall. We're gonna take some heavy duty slides, three quarter inch thick, ready for 250 pounds. Put them on the side, get some three quarter inch plywood runners attached to those. Then take some half inch heavy duty slides, put in here some more plywood, then a plywood top to go on it. Then we actually have a Lazy Susan it goes on here, then it'll take some inch and a half butcher block, put on top, drill some holes in there to put the feet for the black stone so it doesn't move. Here's the black stone, here's the lid, everything fits. It is approximately 12 inches high with about a 7 inch drawer, which clears the access for the water heater. We're going to take another drawer down here, storage. Here's a 3D sketch. I'm going to have this drawer pull out, then it's going to pull out a second time. So the black stone's right there. We got our black stone. It's a 22 inch model. We got a Lazy Susan. Ball bearing, it's aluminum. This will cause a black stone to be able to pivot to get away from the trailer. And then we got three sets of drawer slides. We got a 250 pound rated locking heavy duty slide. We got two sets of 20 inch, 100 pound rated slides. We got my table saw. We'll cut it up. Camper's ready. Let's go. Here she is cleaned out. So we're gonna take this guy off, take this off, take this out take this off but we gotta still be conscious of not only the access to the water heater which is back in there but we got a light up there and an outlet I want it all to fit within the space and it should just right You can see that is stapled. These slides are stapled. So I'm just gonna pop off that piece of plywood. Oops. That's how you scratch your glasses. knock them from not using cheap staples. Not using enough staples. So got it out. Only took a couple minutes, but it's more effort than I thought it'd be, of course. Why wouldn't it be, right? Next up here is we have to get a piece of wood here for the heavy drawers slides to sit on. So you can see there's a gap here. So we're gonna take some shim pieces, plywood. In this case, this distance here is two inches. So we got a three quarter inch and a half inch piece. 
What we'll do is we'll lay them down in there like that. We'll take this three quarter inch piece, put it up there like that. And you can see it flushes it all up nice and the drawer slides will just go right there. This side's a little different. This one's inch and an eighth. So we'll do the same thing over here. All right, I got it all shimmed out in here. You can see I went ahead and used pocket screws to keep everything flush. It allowed me to screw into this uh, jam, jam trim right here. I put a bottom brace to space it across. You can kind of see the shims. This needed a half inch plywood and then two layers of three quarter inch plywood. And then this one needed a quarter inch piece of plywood on top of three quarter inch plywood. Then I notch these so it sits out and flush with this. You can see this one's not quite flush, but the slide does sit in here and still clears it. So uh, that was easier than trying to get it perfect. So now the next step is to build the box. And through the power of YouTube, here's the drawer pieces. We got the top that will hold the Lazy Susan that will sit on top of those smaller drawer slides and there'll be a slide in between there. Then here's the big runners. Those will be attached to the large drawer slides in the camper. Then the butcher block will sit on top of those drawer slides on top of the Lazy Susan. Lazy Susan sits on top of the three quarter inch plywood with all the holes in it. And then that guy sits on top of the butcher block with some holes drilled in it for the little rubber feet to go into. Let's keep moving. So remember earlier when I said the plan changed? Yeah, this is the change. The butcher block was supposed to sit on top of this Lazy Susan and pivot around like this, but it was getting kind of complex. There wasn't a great attachment point for the butcher block, a lot of weight and complexity. So I decided just to have the butcher block on a drawer pulls out straight. And so that's what we'll start working on next. All right, got the main drawer slides in. I want the locking ones to come out and they lock out like this that so they'll stay out in place so let's get the next drawers in all right got the double drawer on just pull out like this it locks and this one pull out like this this is how far it'll come out Okay, well, change things up a little bit. Instead of doing the pivoting piece, the stability I don't think was gonna be good enough for bouncing down the road. So instead, I just use this straight up piece, a double slide, you can see there, so you can get it far enough away. And then it slides in place, soft closes, and then the blue latches allows it to go all the way back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some baskets and lay down in there to carry, to hold stuff. So obviously when this pulls out, you can gain access to it. You kinda see the supports and stuff that attach. It's pretty stable now. Um, I did have to put a piece across the bottom to keep it from bowing in a little bit. I drilled these holes. The feet will sit down in there and kind of keep it from moving around. So let's put on the blackstone, see how it works. Here's how it all fits in there. I actually could have brought this all the way over to the side and I could have left this on and it would have cleared with about a 16th inch to spare on each side. However, I figured it would annoy me more so because it bounces around going down the road. And so I figured it's just easy to unscrew that. So I'll just take that off and I slid this over a little bit. So you can see the latches, obviously a door closes. So you unlatch them and it 
comes out and then they lock out in place like this. Now you can see why you needed a double drawer because you could not open up this like that. Obviously if you didn't have the top would work. So then this piece slides out like so. It can either slide all the way out like that and allow plenty of access back here. Or I think I'm gonna get a little chain and put it here with a hook so I can lock it out like maybe this far or so. Now my camper isn't sitting level, so that's part of the reason why it's sliding out. Once it's level, it probably won't slide out, but in general, even like this, it's relatively stable. So then of course you can put that on. Plenty of room for heat and still get to stuff back here if we need to, even if it's going. Obviously lots of clearance for the water heater. I'll look down here, you can see I just pocket hold the top to this. So you can just take it off anytime. The feet fit in there nicely. So it won't slide around on me. What fun is a plan without multiple pivots? Here's another one. You know how I said I was gonna put baskets underneath the drawer slide? Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just build a little corral out of scrap wood to kind of keep all the stuff in there and I'll uh, show you what that looks like here. Here's what I got. I got two side pieces, side side notch for that brace piece I put down there. And then, so these pieces will go here and here to allow me to screw them down to the floor. And this front piece will go across like this. This piece is cut short. You can see, so that piece will slide in here and these pieces will go on top to create just a little bit of a brace in the corner and that should be it and because I'm lazy I'm not getting out my nail gun so we're gonna use some regular glue some super glue put some dabs there a few dabs of this shoot it with some accelerator spray hold it down and look at that the super glue holds it in place while the regular wood glue sets up and we can quickly put all this together without nails poking through or anything like that Super glue really helps uh, speed this process up, keeps it nice and strong while it can set up. Glue these uh, the end pieces to the two side pieces like this. Just a little bit more. And here is our corral. And here she is installed. can see I set it out enough for this three quarter inch to slide through about 16 inch to spare you see why I glued those blocks on attach it down so now it should contain everything in there there we go stuff fits back in there obviously you can still easily reach it with a black stone out even if it right here, you can still reach it, kind of. You just have to pull it out. Um, decided to leave it like this because I may decide to pull the black stone off and set it on the table or the stand. So this allows a nice work surface to set something out here, whether it be um, the ice maker or drink station or whatever, and still have access to the plug-in back there and plug everything in. So I'll have access to stuff back here. And here is the reveal. Went ahead and put a couple coats of a clear sealer on it, oil based, so it can keep it protected. Thought about staining it to match the trim or the wood of the 
camper, but this doesn't bother me. And it takes on that sort of butcher block look. So these come out, add to the handles you can see. Helps pull it out. They lock there first. And you grab it and keep pulling it out. The wind was getting quite annoying, so I'll go ahead and overdub the recording here. So here's the final. See it sits down nicely into the little pocket holes. Um, slides nice, everything fits good. Since this was kind of a one-off design, I'm not going to do a plan since it's kind of unique to your circumstance. But in general, uh, we look forward to trying it out. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it doesn't fall off, burn up the camper, whatever. We'll keep you posted. Thanks.